Hi, artist. Today on the Bomba channel, we'll be exploring a very interesting topic, planets of the solar system. We'll even create a model of the solar system using clay. It's going to be educational and fun. So let's take off to space. And don't forget to give us a like. It really helps our channel grow. To create the solar system, I took a 30 tex 40 cm cardboard canvas. We'll paint the entire surface with black gouache or acrylic paint. Now let's let our surface dry. The solar system consists of eight planets revolving around one star, the Sun. Once our canvas is dry, we move on to the next step. Take a white marker and attach any string or cord to it. Now we'll draw the orbits. Hold the string with your finger in the top left corner of the canvas. Leave space for the sun. Draw an arc. Then move slightly down and draw the next one. We should end up with eight orbits. The planets don't just sit next to the sun, they constantly revolve around it in their own paths, like dancing in a circle. This path is called an orbit. With the white marker, draw many dots across the canvas. These will be stars, as there are countless stars in space. Stars are hot spheres made of gases, which vary in size and age. Their brightness depends on the star's color, distance, and of course, size. Now comes the fun part. We'll sculpt the planets from light air dry clay. Space is such an interesting topic, full of mystery and grandeur. Each of us has, of course, seen the beautiful, bright sun shining in the sky. But what does it look like up close? The sun is a massive ball of gas that burns and warms everything around it. Take clay in orange, red, and yellow colors. Combine them together, but don't mix. Just roll a big ball. Decorate the circumference of our ball with fiery rays. The sun is ready. The sun formed about five billion years ago from a giant gas cloud. At the same time, the formation of the solar system began, planets that revolve around the sun. They formed from space debris, dust, gas, fragments of meteorites, as if they were sintering under the influence of the sun. Mercury. This planet is the smallest and closest to the sun. It orbits the sun faster than all other planets, a year on Mercury lasts only 88 days. This planet almost has no atmosphere, meaning it lacks the gas cloud that surrounds most of the planets in the solar system. Venus. Venus is named after the ancient Roman goddess of love and beauty because it's very bright and beautiful, like a star. It's the hottest planet in the solar system, and Venus's atmosphere has almost no oxygen. The whole planet is enveloped in poisonous clouds of carbon dioxide. Venus doesn't experience seasonal changes, and there's always a hot summer.
Earth. Earth is the planet we live on. If you look at Earth from far away in space, you could call it blue because most of its surface, almost 75%, is covered by bodies of water, rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans. The atmosphere is Earth's shield. It protects against meteorites that fall towards our planet, but most burn up in the atmosphere. Mars. Mars is the most studied planet in the solar system after Earth. Mars is much smaller than Earth. The reddish color of the planet, for which it was named after the ancient Roman god of war, is caused by a large amount of iron oxide on its surface. The temperature on Mars is very low, averaging around minus 47 degrees Celsius. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system, which is why it was named after the chief Roman god. One year on Jupiter equals 12 Earth years. Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system, and it doesn't have a solid surface. Saturn's main feature is its rings. Saturn's rings are dense formations of ice, dust, and rocks. Uranus. People learned about the existence of this planet only after the invention of the telescope. Uranus is named after the Greek god of the sky. Uranus is the coldest of all the planets and has no solid surface. Due to its low temperatures, it's also called the ice giant. Neptune. Neptune was discovered later than the other planets and was named after the Roman god of the seas. The planet is a ball of gas and ice. One year on Neptune lasts about 165 Earth years. It's extremely cold on Neptune, with an average temperature of minus 210 degrees Celsius. Until recently, it was believed that there were nine planets in the solar system, not eight. The ninth planet was called Pluto, but later, scientists changed its status. Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet. Our planet Earth has its own natural satellite, the Moon. The Moon is the only celestial body that humans have visited. We can always see the Moon shining brightly at night, but it doesn't shine on its own. Its light is a reflection of the Sun's light. In space, there are not only planets and stars, we are surrounded by various cosmic bodies. Comets, meteors, asteroids. And together, we have many more fascinating and wonderful discoveries ahead. I wish you cosmic inspiration and starlight creativity. See you back on Earth in the next Bomba episode. Bamba, Bamba.